Welcome back guys to how to prepare for update 4.0 in Injustice 2 Mobile. So tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Let's see, scheduled maintenance. 9 a.m. We're getting a, a brand new 4.0 update. Not 3.7, brand new 4.0. So it's a whole new world here. We don't know what the hell we're getting. Um, so first things first, make sure that you finished your raids by 9 a.m. Make sure that you have finished anything you wanted to do in either of the arenas, champions or regular arena. Um, I would advise using all of your pips, using or spending all of your energy in um, regular arena, because who knows how much harder they're going to make these things after the update. And again, remember, <laughs> champions arena is still in a work in progress. It's still beta, which what so who knows they might finalize it this update they may say 4.0 champions arena this is going to be it we're not making any further changes to it so you want to use as many of your of your pips as you possibly can in champs if you ask me at least um so what it does 4.0 entail that we know of uh where the hell did i put the little message thingy that we were looking at so low raids are coming Okay, so first things first, there's what they have announced on their Facebook, Twitter, and just the messages in-game. Other than that, everything else uh, isn't trustworthy. It's not, uh, it's not, in the past we've had leaks that have been confirmed. The Anything that's been leaked on Reddit, or my Discord, or, you know, whatever, those are all just people either photoshopping something, or maybe they have data mine something, but they can't tell you whether it is... A true data mine or not because they will get banned from the game uh you know injustice is banning anybody that's uh leaking stuff so anything else outside of what i'm about to show you just take with a grain of salt right <laughs> so first things first solar raids are coming get ready for um to take on boss dark side and his fearsome warriors in the dawn of a Ado uh, dawn of adopolis dawn of apocalypse solar raid event solar raids feature exciting new events and incredible rewards like full hero unlocks gear reforges and event specific artifacts so let's just take that piece by piece full hero unlocks highly doubt if you've been playing since the beginning of, uh, of injustice like i have highly doubt that it's going to be a hero that we haven't already gotten could be wrong but i don't think it's going to be legendary hero unlocks if it is that'd be freaking amazing but i don't think it's going to be so don't get excited about that or don't get too excited about that because that's how they make their money right gear reforges that's awesome always down for gear reforges and then event specific artifacts so i'm most intrigued by the event specific artifacts up until now we've only cared about how much damage we can output right that's like the most important thing in the game um, yes, they care about how tanky you can be in, like, Champions Arena sometimes, but the main thing we've always cared about is how much damage we can output, and that's where we've been putting all of our artifact fragments. We've been trying to build up all of the damage-dealing artifacts. So when they say event-specific artifacts, I think they're talking about brand new artifacts with really important passives, meaning maybe ha healing, a healing affix, or power drain affix, or stun, or something where you're going to be able to, it's going to help you get through raids, or solo raids. And because of that, everybody kind of comes into solo raids at the same level. Yes, whales have a better roster, but the artifacts, I think, are going to be the most important thing to get you straight through solo raids. So, same deal with brand new players. They're going to come in at the same level as the people with a better roster, because it's all about the artifacts. That's my guess. So, we'll talk more about um, what you should be focused on, or what I think you should be focused on, um, in a minute. But let's just go and look at what's on Injustice 2 Mobile's Twitter account real quick. Uh, so that is this. Boop. Sound effects. Love it. All right. So it's a pretty fuzzy video because it's on their Twitter. It's not HD for some reason when it's on Twitter. Whatever. Um, but let's play it. All right. So first things first, you got Black Manta looking pimp with two randos in the background with pointy objects. Uh, all right. So we've already got Black Manta. We've already fought against him, we already unlocked him, we know what he's all about. But, the two randoms in the background make me think that obviously he should be part of these new solo raids in some way, shape, or form. Um, also, he may get a, a refactor, he might be, become stronger, weaker, who knows, so be prepared for that. Um, so if you've unlocked him, request sh shards for him from your teammates, and if you haven't unlocked him, maybe wait until after the... Um, update comes out to try and get him through any means possible. <laughs> um, so that's number one. Let's see what else we got. Heroes! 
All right, then we got Brainiac, also a legendary character. Um, it does look like Phase 1. It says Phase 1 in the corner, but he is a legendary, so that's something that we've got in common. He might get refactored, because right now he sucks dick. I don't know. We'll see. Get! Now, this whole fucking scene, what? What? Like, w why is it... These are, like, the not too trashest characters, but, like... If you're gonna try and pump up this update, why the hell are you showing me these two? This... I can't figure this shit out, but whatever. Maybe there, maybe there's, like, side quests or some shit. Or maybe it's... Uh, no, I was gonna say maybe it's what we've all been asking for forever. The, um, not story mode. Um, whatever the hell it's called. Let me see. Campaign mode gets expanded. I doubt it, though. Anyway, nothing, nothing to really worry about there, I don't think. Unless either of them are getting refactored, but... I don't know. I've already maxed out MVGA, so... Um, whatever. Ready! Alright, another legendary. That's three legendaries we've seen so far. Obviously, that's where they make the most money, because they're trying to get everyone to unlock these, these things. So, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I think that he's probably just gonna be another... I think that all of the legendaries are going to be part of solo raids in one shape or form. Like, the defenders, right? Um, that you have to beat. So, we'll see, but... Otherwise, it, they're all just getting refactored, or they're just making a weird video that doesn't make any sense. And of course, at the very end, Big Pimp himself comes in, Dark Side, haven't unlocked you yet, but you have to fight him as a solo raid boss. We read that earlier. Um, then the second thing they've got is just, he's coming for you! So, be aware, he's about to come for that ass. And then last thing is just one day till solo raids, and we already read that shit. So... What do we need to know, or what can we think about that can prepare us for this, right? One of the things you gotta think about is, is it going to be more like survivor mode in Gods Among Us, or tower mode in Mortal Kombat, or raids in Injustice? And what I mean about thinking about that is, what's gonna be important in each? So let's take a quick look at what's gonna be important in each. So my personal thought is that it is going to be a cross between all three, to be honest. I think they're going to take the best of each worlds and put it all together. So for Survivor in Gods Among Us, if it's the exact same thing as Champions Arena, basically, where the amount of damage that you take from fight to fight carries over into the next fight. Um, and the further... But the difference is, in, in Gods Among Us, the further you get in the survival fights, the better your rewards are, and you get more chances at different rewards. Whereas in Champions Arena, you just get points towards your, you know, your tier. Which is great, but it's just a little bit different. You feel the immediate reward in, in Gods Among Us. So as you can see here, I did my first fight, Black Adam died, Arkham Knight is damaged, and that's what I'm going into fight two with here. So, what would be very useful for this, right? is healers and tanks. Not a, a little bit of damage, but healers, tanks, and support heroes are very important in survivor fights. Um, and right now, the artifacts that we've all been working on is just straight damage. None of us have leveled up, what is it? This, um, let me see here. How do I swap back over to Injustice? There we go. None of us have really um, leveled up the healing artifact um, that I think I have on you. No, of course not. Who do I have this on? Oh, God, right, right, right. Um, mm -mm -mm. None of us have really healed up this one, or uh, leveled up this one, which I was thinking about leveling up next anyway because it's just super useful in all kinds of different areas. Um, but our healers aren't really the best, right? Well, they are really good, but there's not very many of them, I'll say. Um, so it'd be really cool if we saw more artifacts that could add healing to characters that aren't necessarily healer characters. Um, that would be fantastic, but but obviously healing is massive if you've got to do those multi-tiered fights where the, the, the damage carries over. And if we just took a quick look at Discord, again, you can't trust exactly what's in here. These are just people posting things in my Discord of like, hey, here's some things I found on the internet. But you can see here that um, it looks like it's going to be added next to the regular leagues just as a solo league event between, you know, that and the um, daily quests that you've got to do. Um, and then, I don't know what the hell this thing is over here, but um, it looks like it's a journey, right? Um, that you have to go on at different stops. And again, I'm just thinking about this because it seems almost exactly like the towers 
in Mortal Kombat X, just kind of a little bit easier. Uh, maybe you can complete it in three days, but you have to make it through um, different levels. And I'm thinking if your um, if your health stays with you at each of those different points, then you're gonna want healers on your team, or at least some kind of support heroes that have you take less damage. Um, yeah, like it says, looks fake, photoshopped, and somebody made a video on it, and <laughs> Winnie the Pooh pops up at the end. So don't take it, you know, for, for exactly what it's it's showing here, but just intriguing to, you know, think about, right? Also, Discord link in the description. About two and a half thousand people in there right now, so sweet, go join. Anyway, um, <laughs> if we now look at how it takes place in Mortal Kombat... You only get a certain amount of chances per day at the tower structure. You can see here I've used two when it loads in. I have used two, uh, right, right, right there, um, of my daily attempts. If I do my last attempt at this level of the tower um, and exit out when I do, come on, I don't want to wreck you that bad. All right, sweet, um, quit. You'll see that. Um, I've used all of my chances for today, and I have to pay souls to refresh my chances. I think that um, Injustice might take that on because they do it with everything else, right? Energy, um, pips in arena, or in champions arena. They're going to want you to pay money to win. <laughs> so if you've got a really good... Um, uh, roster, then maybe you won't have to refresh as much. But if you've got a worse roster, you can still keep up by paying, which... I don't know, we'll see. Uh, all right, so how do you prepare for this, right? There's really only three things that I can think of other than what we've already discussed. Uh, number one, top of the line, hold your resources. Do not spend anything right now. Don't buy coins, don't spend coins, don't buy gems, don't spend gems. Uh, your gear reforges, your gear materials, uh, nothing. Uh, your artifact fragments, don't spend anything and also don't de like don't uh, delete anything don't shatter any of your extra artifacts don't do anything because you don't know what's going to be important when the update comes out and even more important don't e don't do it even after the update comes out because a lot of times what they do is a they will in the store put really good deals either right before or right after the update comes out but they won't have released all of the facets of the update. They won't have let solo raids open until like two weeks from now or something like that. So you'll get pumped about the update. You'll see really good deals. You'll spend all of your gems or whatever. Um, and then they'll be like, okay, solo raids are now open. Uh, the main things that you need to worry about are health, defense, uh, and, and healing or something like that. And you're like, I spent all my freaking reforges on, you know, my damage dealing characters or whatever. Um, so literally just hold your resources for a couple of days. Couple As soon as solo raids come out, feel free just to play and have fun and, and spend, um, spend them on whatever you think makes the most sense. But for now, don't buy anything from the store. Don't spend your, your resources, nothing. Number two, I would advise on getting healers. So... Uh, we've talked about this already, but uh, Poison Ivy, um, EPI, sorry, um, Atlantean Armor Aquaman, and Gorilla Grodd, Legendary Grodd, are three of the best healers that I can think of that you may want to at least try to get. So if you're in leagues and you've unlocked any of those, request their shards. Um, you can get uh, Atlantean Armor Aquamans just from campaign. Um, you know, you can get him to six stars before the update comes out and maybe you'll have a good healer if you need them. But again, don't spend any of your, your, uh, <laughs> resources if you, you know, if you've got resources to spend, just don't spend them on, on healers yet. Um, like their gear and stuff, you know. Um, and then the only other third thing that I can think of is practice against legendaries. So go to arena and find really hard legendary teams. So find ones that have got Dark Side, Black Manta, and Grodd on them. Those are the three legendaries that I could think of other than um, Legendary Superman. 
Mm, yeah, but he wasn't mentioned in the in the trailer for the update. So I would just go with the three that were in the update. See if you can find teams like that and practice on how to beat them because it's a lot of patience. You have to practice a lot of like chilling out, backing up, making sure you don't get hit by damage, and then when like uh, barriers are down, attack. So practice that a lot in arena. Um, and then the only other things to be aware of that I can think of are that any the entire roster, any characters in your roster might get uh, buffed so they can be better, like Black Manta or, you know, any of the legendaries. Um, or they may get nerfed, so be aware that any of your really good characters might get bumped down because it is a 4.0 update, not just a 3.7. Usually in the intermediate or intermediary um, updates, they don't really mess with um, balance too much, but on the point zeros when they come out with something as brand new as this, they do mess with balance. So be be aware of that. Um, and then just, I think we might have talked about this, but just don't expect legendary characters from the rewards because a lot of people are like, oh, yay, I finally get to get new characters from solo raids. And it's like, no, most of the time it's just going to be gold and silver characters. My guess. I Because that's, again, how they make their money is by selling legendaries or by, you know, um, making you buy gems to try and <laughs> roll for them. Um, so other than that, guys, the other cool thing that I got to share with y'all is that I finally spent some time and built a shirt. <laughs> I know that y'all probably don't care too much, but I'm going to be ordering one because I like it. Um, Here's my lovely, stupid little store on YouTube. The shirt should be available underneath this video, actually. Um, but I just built, like, I literally photoshopped all this and put it on a shirt, and I really kind of like it. Um, I'm a gamer, so any gamers that enjoy, uh, you know, the stupid shirts, feel free. Um, they should just be underneath the video, like I said. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff, like hoodies, and you can pick the colors and all kinds of fun things. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, so other than that... If you got any questions or thoughts, leave them in the comments below this video, and I'll read them, and when we'll see who was right when the update comes out tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try and stream, uh, but we'll see what's going on with work when the update actually finishes, because usually these updates take forever. So we'll see when the, the update ends. But other than that, if you liked the video, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe. If you want to help me out, either buy my shirt or <laughs> click join underneath the video as well. Um, that's super helpful. Uh, and yeah, I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Fingers crossed, homies. <laughs> Have a good one, y'all. Bye.